What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be unboxing and testing the Sharper Image Flip Stunt Rally RC car. On the box, this is we got a 2.4 gigahertz radio and a dual design body, as you can see right there. On the back of the box, this is we got a wireless controller, dual design body, and it says we have extreme grip to climb over any terrain. We will test that and a competitive racing 2 and 4 gigahertz controller to compete with your friend, so that's pretty nice. On the back of the box, it says it includes a car controller, but you'll need four AA batteries for the car and a 9 volt for the remote. Got those sitting right over there. Now on the side of the box, it says we got two headlights on the front and back of it, so we will test that out. Now if you do want to know more specs about this car and where to buy it from, a link will be in the description. Alright guys, let's get into unboxing this thing. No tape, that'll make it a lot easier to get into. So here we got the manual, the car, and the controller. Now the controller was actually really hard to get out of the box because there was something that screwed in right there and it was like really attached to that box. So boy, that took a while to get out. Now for the remote, we have two up and down joysticks for some reason and a button for some other reason, I don't know, and then a switch. Now we will figure out what all these things do when we get into testing it. Now for the car, we have some very nice grippy and squishy tires, which will make it easier to grip stuff. Our colors are blue and white, and it doesn't matter which way it is, because either way, it'll be driving forward, so that's really nice. Now it looks like you can take these tires off if you get like a needle nose plier or something in there, so that's good to know that if hair or something gets caught in the axle, you can just take that off and take the hair out or whatever it is, and it will run just fine. We got a screw here, probably to get into where the batteries are, and a switch on the front. Well, I guess the switch could be on the front or back, depending on which way you have the car, so I don't know. Now, something I've noticed about this is when you turn this wheel this way, that one turns that way, and same for this, which means there's one motor controlling each side, which technically makes this a four-wheel drive RC car. Now, if you wanted to know the dimensions of this car, it's six inches long, five and a half inches wide and three inches tall. To power on your controller, you want to unscrew this with the Phillips head screwdriver, take it off and put in your nine volt battery. After that, turn on the switch and it should start blinking red. And it's blinking because the car has not been powered on yet. For the car, unscrew this screw right here. Then what you wanna do is lift up and kind of push it forward a little bit and it should pop off. Now it looks like I read the box wrong because it's AAA, not AA. Sorry about that, let me go get some new batteries. So I just got four AAA batteries, put it in here, and now we're going to want to put this body back on. The way to do that is to go ahead and put this on the front first, and then kind of push down right here, and then you'll be able to screw that back on, and it should be on there pretty nice and snug. Now you go ahead, turn the switch on, make sure the light is blinking, and then you turn this switch right here to on, and the light should stop blinking, which means it connected. Now this car does have working headlights on both sides, which is a really nice feature. Even though you probably won't even be driving this in the dark, it's a cool thing to have on this car. Now let's get outside and see how this thing drives. All right, so now we're outside, and I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's actually snowing a little bit right now, and it just rained a little before, so that's why the ground's all wet. So for the controls, Pressing this one turns it right, and pressing this one turns it left, and pushing both of them forward makes it go forward, pushing both of them back makes it go back. And what this button actually does is when you're going forward, you can reverse it really fast and it's supposed to flip it, but I think since the ground's a little wet right now, it's not going to do it, but that's why this thing is meant for indoors. Now check out the speed of this thing. That is pretty good. I mean, this thing is 10 bucks at Walmart. So the handling of this is pretty sweet and it will take a little bit to get used to the steering but the way I do it, to steer one way I quickly let off the throttle or else it just completely spins around like that. And other than that, I really don't see any problems with this. Now I know this thing isn't made for the rocks but we're gonna try it out anyway since it said it had some nice grip on it. 
Now this is really testing the motors, not the grip, but hey, it's a nice test anyway. All right, here we go. It does move on the rocks. Oh, see, it, it struggles on the hills a little bit. As you can see, there's a car, there was a car right there. But, oh yeah, so it grips pretty good, but the motors just aren't strong enough to get it over all those bumps and stuff like that. But again, not made for the rocks, still does really good on pavement and flat surfaces. Now, we're gonna go ahead and see how far this car can go from the controller on this driveway. So this car has just lost signal all the way by that tree back there. It looks like it went pretty far. So let's go ahead and measure it. All right, so this car went 132 feet. That's pretty far, which means again, you'll be able to drive this in big places and don't have to worry about disconnecting. So this car is actually pretty fun driving it on this driveway, but it was just hard to keep it straight because there's a little bit delay when it was really far like that. So that's the only downside it has. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's starting to sleep, so I better get inside. All right, guys, I'm back in the shop. So after a fun time of reviewing this thing, I would say this thing is definitely worth the $10 that it is. You've got some nice rubber and grippy tires. You got two different designs on it. So if it flips, you can still keep driving. And this thing has some pretty good speed and handling to it. I mean, guys, you even have some nice LED headlights on both sides of it, which makes it look really cool. Now, I would say this thing is definitely meant for indoors because the tires are like this it's because you're supposed to hit walls and stuff. And that's what makes it flip over. Now, I would say this is a pretty well-made and sturdy car for the $10 that it is worth. I mean, unless you're bashing this thing and dropping it and ramming it in stuff as much as you possibly can, I would say you won't have to replace this for a very long time, which is good because you get to save money on it. Now, for the controller, these controls are really easy to press and easy to get used to. This also has a nice feeling in your hand if you're holding it for a long period of time. So if you're thinking about getting this for yourself or someone, I would say go ahead and do it. It's a very fun thing to have and definitely worth the money. And again, a link is in the description if you want to know where to buy it from. All right, guys, this is it for the review today. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Stay awesome. Peace. Ooh.